My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a pretty special car right here. It's a 1938 Ford sedan delivery street rod. It's got a GM crate motor. It's got air conditioning, turbo 350 automatic. It's a real deal. It's a steel body, real 1938 Ford. It's from the estate of a very well-known collector in the area. Been in business probably about as long as we have selling car trailers just right up the road from us. They had a nice collection of cars. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures. That's where you find prices on all of the collector cars that we have, which is about 200 right now. If you enjoy watching our video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. I'll be honest with you. When I seen this, I thought it was just going to be some old outdated car kind of piecemeal together but it's not the case it's a really well built really nice quality vehicle uh, underneath i don't know where it's from but the frame is smooth it's not flaky it's not pitted it's just a nice clean original frame the floors are the same way i did not see any patches cut out just nice clean floors they prepped them they painted them black up front it does have a tubular drop axle, has coil over shocks, has some tubular trailing arms. Uh, the steering uh, mechanism looks like it's been replaced. In back it has leaf springs that have been lowered uh, and the shocks uh, aren't that old. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's still a really clean motor. Uh, starter was clean, the turbo 350 automatic was clean. It's got a Ford 9-inch rear end and back with a 3 to 1 ratio. The dual exhaust, uh, rather than hanging down low, they weaved its way right through the frame, did a nice job, goes all the way out the back. Uh, you'll hear it start at the end, towards the end of this video. Um, the fuel system looks good, has electric fuel pump. It's an air-conditioned car, and there must not have been a lot of room in here, so they've actually got the... Uh, condenser under the car with a fan so some of the air conditioning components are underneath the car which is kind of unusual I haven't seen that before uh, it's got disc brakes in front drum and back it even looked like there's an emergency brake cable uh, hooked up so underneath is just very clean and respectable not high tech it's not you know all custom uh, high-end stuff but it, it clean simple looks like it was done right uh, now the body, of course, this is a unique body. It's not a panel truck. The panel trucks were big. This is pretty much a sedan, size of a sedan. You can park this in your garage. Uh, you can use this for your business. Put your name here, a magnet, a decal, paint it, and now this is working for your company. Uh, it's a tax write-off at that point. Uh, or just put something fun on there. Uh, whatever your hobby is or your nickname, make something up you can put here and just have some fun with it. Uh, you know, Joe's Bicycle Shop. We have an old bicycle in the back. Anyway, it's a rare body. It's a 38 Ford. Everything is steel. The back fenders are fiberglass. Actually, I checked that one. Yeah, both of them are fiberglass, but they look really nice. Uh, now, I'm assuming it's been painted a while, and it's held up really well. I didn't see any problem areas. This thing is straight. Look across the roof, down the sides. This is straight, smooth. Doors fit beautifully, real nice. This is a high quality body and paint. Uh, the roof has this line around it. I believe they put the metal insert in there and removed the vinyl. Originally they were vinyl on top, saved money instead of all metal. So now it's all metal. The blue paint is smooth and glossy. Um, I'm sure there's a little nick or a little flaw, but I'm telling you, it, it's really nice. There's no problem areas, no bubbles, blisters, cracking. And it has these really nice, uh, like ghost flames. You don't feel them. They're done in a little bit of a metallic color. Uh, it's pretty cool. And I love the fact they left the original style trim, door handles. This here is how you open the hood. Uh, but it all looks new or restored. All the stainless trim, still glass headlights, the bumpers, uh, the mirrors, door handles, the trim down the side, all of it 
looks like it's new or restored. They look like uh, the True Spoke wire wheels. They're not rusted. They're really nice. BF Goodrich tires. Uh, the running boards have been recovered. Interior is real nice. Now in back we have the original style tail lights. This bumper is unique to the sedan delivery. See how it curves in so you can step in there. So it's different than the sedan bumper. It's a 38 special. It even has a Ford locking gas cap, which I thought was a neat touch. I don't think that's going to stay open. We'll catch it as we come around again. So the whole inside of the car, the headliner, the side walls, door panels, kick panels, it's all embossed, so it has a pattern, and it's all upholstered in vinyl. They did a really nice job. The seats have the matching vinyl with cloth inserts cloth armrest has really highly polished glossy wood instrument panel and there's an overhead console with the same matching glossy wood the stereo the cb the couple levers are up there full set of classic industry gauges including tachometer has a lacara steering wheel the same matching wood this motor is a gm crate motor has the tag on the side it's a 350 HO, which is 330 horsepower, four bolt mains. Um, you know, they come with oil in them. You can't get a more reliable engine than a GM crate motor. It does have an aluminum Edelbrock intake, Edelbrock carb. Uh, it has this air conditioning system I told you about. The whole engine bay and under the hood, it's all painted as nice as the outside. Battery fits right in the firewall. It's bolted down properly. It has a battery disconnect switch. Radiator looks new, at least when they restored it, it was new. There's a big electric fan out in front of it. There's seat belts in here. There's a low car shifter on the floor. On the inside, it has a carpeted floor, and I picked it up see what was under it. It's refinished wood with the black slats in the middle, new screws. Uh, and again, it's all reupholstered in here real nicely. It's got dual uh, interior lights. They work. And there's even vents back here for the air conditioning. If you notice, there's a brown baggie in there. There's a bra uh, tucked away in there. There's a panel here in the side I didn't even see before. Oh, just a little compartment here. Got some miscellaneous. The wiper blades, here they are. So it does have wipers. A little tray there to store a few things. So there you have it. This is a neat old car. You can have a lot of fun. It's unique. No one's going to have another one. Make it your business. Make it your own. Rare, rare vehicle. It still fits in the garage. So that's my impression anyway. You can go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. They'll answer whatever questions or concerns you have the best they can. It can also help with financing and delivery. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified when the new ones are out. Thanks for watching.